And what we see here, especially in the book of Acts, especially in this portion, kind of in the middle of the book of Acts, we see a lot of great preaching going on, a lot of great work, a lot of great missionary work, a lot of good soul winning, a lot of reaching the, the loss with the gospel of Jesus Christ and, and real powerful preaching and a lot of people getting saved and, and big influence, big impact. We're going to see later, it's, you know, hey, these that have turned the world upside down are come hither also, right? They're, they're traveling throughout the world and they're preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ and having a very big impact. And because they're doing that, there are people that hate the message, that don't want the word to spread, that are attacking them and trying to confound their work and trying to do everything they can to get that work to stop. Now, this is happening in the book of Acts. This is what happened in Jesus' day. This is what's been happening all throughout history. We live in a dark world. We live in a sinful world. And anytime someone is, is going to try to shine the light and preach the truth, there are going to be wicked people who are going to try to stop that and silence that. But this, we, we know this, this has been happening for a while. But what I want to focus on here, though, is the fact that, and, and we see a repetition of this same thing happening. In verse 1, it says that a great multitude of Jews and Greeks believed. They got saved. So they're going into these synagogues and they're preaching Jesus Christ. And you have Jews, you've got Greeks believing and getting saved. Well, the unbelieving Jews that, that all throughout the book of Acts, by the way, you know who's causing the most problem to people who are trying to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ? It's the Jews. The Jews are antichrist. The Jews are against Jesus Christ, they believe in a Messiah. They don't believe Jesus Christ is the Messiah. And that religion is still the same religion today. They don't believe in Jesus Christ. They're not God's people. They're not God's people. You know, the people of God are the people of the promise, the children of the promise. And the Bible says in Galatians chapter three, that we are blessed with faithful Abraham, that we inherit the promises. Why? Because we are believers, because we believe in the promise that God made. We're, we are children of that promise. But I don't want to get into that whole Israel thing and Jew thing because that's not the point of the sermon. What, what I want to focus in on though is that these unbelievers, right, in, in the story, they're Jews, but the unbelievers are stirring up these Gentiles. They're stirring up the people. They're stirring up, I believe, in some, some of the people that believed, and it says, and made their minds evil affected against the brethren. So they're trying to cause problems and stir up the people and how do they do this? They're going to start spreading rumors. They're going to start talking bad about the brethren that are there. They come into town. They're trying to preach the gospel. But these unbelievers are working against them. And they're going and telling people, hey, do you know, do you know what these people did? They're doing this and they're doing that. And they go around telling stories, being tale bearers, and, and just doing all manner of evil that they can to speak against the brethren. So that way, the whole city basically is just like, no, get out of here. We have nothing to do with you. And we're going to see a few more examples of this. Even in the same uh, passage, we have another example. But I want you, before we even go any further, to just be aware of the power of the influence of people that are going to go around and start spreading stories about other people. It has a big impact. And, and it could be for good, for evil. Usually it's for evil. I mean, people going around spreading rumors and talking, talking smack and backbiting and, and doing all these things. It's, it's designed to damage. And it is powerful. And that's, that's one of the reasons why people do it. These wicked people are doing it on purpose to get these people shut down and sent out. And churches like ours who are going out and trying to preach the gospel and trying to do the work of the Lord, we have people attacking us regularly, trying to get us shut down. They're trying to take us off social media. They're trying to take us, take away our funding and take away our, uh, you know, PayPal and everything else so that because they, they don't want the work of God to be done. That's right. And that's the way it's going to be. We can expect that. But we need to be cognizant. We need to be realize what impact people who go around and start spreading rumors can have. And they can actually make people's minds evil affected against good people against good people, men of God.